Yes, so first of all, um, obviously like the pre-orders came out, Hearthstone came out, but I wanted to talk about most this because it is a subject close to my heart. Um, no flying in Draenor. So there was an interview with one of the developers called Alex Afrasiabi. Oh, that's say that. such a surname. I Afrasiabi. like that. Yeah, he probably changed. He probably just called. He was called Alex Jones or. Yeah, Alex something Mills. really common. No, oh, I think it sounds Afrasiabi. really suave. Afrasiabi. Yeah, but he's not suave because he came on and he was like, "No, I don't know if we'll do flying." <gasps> Terrible. Yeah, and I was like, "What?" Imagine hearing no, that on a date. What he actually said. He said, um, "There's definitely going to be no flying at, at ship. You know, when it ships, which mm -hmm. is." Been, that's what all the expansions have been like. Yeah, when you're leveling. But then, he got to you know all into the conversation. And then he was like, um, "We may have no, you know, it'll." He said, "It'll be interesting to see what the world would be like without any flying at all." Was he saying that as like a passing comment, or was he saying it like? Oh, it'd be interesting because well, it's actually what it, we're going to do. Well, there was more clarification on Twitter later when someone said, so is there going to be no fl no flying? And he just said, well, we'll see how it plays out. No. Yes. What a terrible um, person. What a bad yeah. man. And the reason, and they talked about it before, like Ghost Crawler when he was still there, a few of the developers, they were, they were, the logic behind it is that it removes the danger from the world. So if you want to get somewhere, like, you know, guarded by loads of people, it removes sort of the immersion and danger when you can just go into their camp and go straight to the boss of it and kill them. It's not, like, realistic, and it doesn't give you a sense of sense that you're in that world. I can so understand that. That's the logic there. So, yeah, we're going to talk about why, you know, why Blizzard may have done that, which is that, and then... Uh, why it might not be such a good idea as well because people went mad on the forums basically a lot of the podcasters have been sort of doing blizzards work um, because a lot of the podcasters not necessarily like us like to really sort of support blizzards decision and and most of them have said things like you know it's right it does it does get, make you more sort of immersed in the world and um, it, it doesn't like it sort of takes away from it when you can just lift off and and go. The yeah. other concern is that crafting it affects crafting because you can't go get your materials as fast. Yeah, but then you're spending an extra half an hour trying to kill stuff. Yeah, but Blizzard's argument is that because everyone else is doing the same, it doesn't make a difference in on the whole because everyone's getting the crafting material just as fast as you, so the prices adjust accordingly. Uh no. So. Let's go for a few butts. I've got a lot of butts. I've got a few butts too. So you go, let's let's hear your butt. <laughs> right. So, well, do you really? <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't want to hear Would you, that be appropriate? Um, yeah. So flying, what do you think? Um, well, I understand that they say that it, you lose that sense of danger, but at the same time, in every expansion, um, you've not been able to fly while you've been leveling, have you? No. And you can fly at top level. Mm -hmm. Um but when you're levelling up, you want to feel like you're working towards something. And yep. if you're not going to be able to fly, at, you know, once you've got to top level, then um, I don't think you're going to be rewarded. Because yeah, so that removing a reward. It is a massive yeah. reward as well. And plus, like, it's um, end game as well, isn't it? You want to be able to fly around and do whatever. And you've mm. stopped... You know all of the sort of leveling quests, so you don't need to go and kill five of these or whatever. Um, and do you not think the immersion is worth it? You know. No, a, I think no. you lose a lot of the sense of the game. You can't fly yeah. and explore the world. You're yeah. just traveling, you know, on foot. And um, the only way you're going to be able to fly is if you go to, you know, you have to pay to travel from mm. place to place, and it's just one flight path, isn't it? You yeah. can't go and explore anywhere. They have actually responded to the flight path thing and said that they are going to try and find ways of making it m more convenient if potentially they don't ever have flying in there. So they you, didn't say what. But you're going to end up spending a fortune. Yeah. And 
you won't you'll miss out on so much it's yeah. so nice to just be able to fly around and just like explore different places i remember yeah. we there's a really nice waterfall i'm not sure where it is but you'll like miss out like really nice scenic routes like that mm. um, sort of convenience versus immersion yeah i think you're less emerged like you mm. know like and like i was thinking like could they not add um more flying things that can attack you like yeah. i don't know if you can actually cast while flying i've never tried it because i've never really been attacked in the air but oh no you can't cast while flying um well there's but... an option actually to turn that off but it'll automatically dismount you if you do yeah a spell. that's the only thing but um but yeah, I think that once you've got to top level, then it's a really good reward and you get to explore more of the world because then it is end game. You want to be able to explore. You're not in this like, you know, rigid sort of pathway. You can just do whatever you want um, yeah. because it's end game because you've not got that much more to do. And also you do want to be farming and things like that and trying to get some gold in and it mm. just restricts you so much. It's a, yeah. it's a restriction. There's no freedom. But yeah. yeah, that's my thing because, you know, leveling and you're not able to fly, it's, um, I think it's part of the grind. Yeah. If you're able to fly, it'd be so much easier. So why, when you reach max level, would you want to keep that grind? Because it yeah. still feels like a grind, I think. Yeah. So, um, not for it. Not for it. No. No, I think, um, like I, I've got sort of the same, same stuff as you, um, what I've got here is what I th what I think it does. Like I, I get why they're trying to do it, but I just think there are other ways of doing that. Yeah. Um. So my first point is that it creates a two D game from what could be a three D game. Yeah. You know, and um, it is. It does feel like that that move from um, from say when you know you'd you'd have Mega Drive and then you went onto three D graphics. Yeah, I think when they introduced flying, it felt the same. We we had this whole new level that yeah, we could explore, definitely. and you could go wherever you wanted. There was yeah. less restrictions, and um, and I think that the the nature of it being three D makes it more immersive because you can explore more of the the whole world, and it it makes it more of a sort of fantasy experience that you can actually, you know, take off in this this cool land and see everything from above. Yeah. So I just think if they if they get rid of it, it's removing that. Uh, w what is I think a whole layer of the game they're taking it, away, it taking another, away a layer of the game. It is another dimension, isn't it, to be able to yeah. see things from above. So then, I yeah. think, in one way, they're adding immersion by, you know, letting people experience you know the gating and and stuff of, of being attacked, like to get to a point. But it, in another way, they're removing immersion in that they're taking away the sort of 3D experience and layer of the game. Yeah. And also, um, on top of that, it's, I think it makes you feel less heroic as a, fa as a character if, if you can't fly. Yeah. You know, w when you got, get to top level, it gives you that reward that you're now, you know, like level 100 yeah. and you can fly. And so, you know, when you, when you come in and you're that 91 and you see that guy flying over there and you think oh god I'd love to be able to fly in this yeah this place yeah it's taking that away but so and my main point is that and it's happened quite a lot at the moment well especially with the healing changes yeah I think what they're doing to they they think they're making the game better but I think what they're actually doing is devolving the game you yeah. know to to changes they liked in the past, you know, to yeah. things they like from the past, but because I think, and half of the motivation behind it is nostalgia. Yeah. You know, they they like the feeling of being able to go into a place and it, it being danger. That's an existing sort of idea in their mind, mm. and it's e quite easy to just revert to those changes. And in their yes. mind, it's it's solving problems. But it's what, not. What I think should be happening is that they should be rather than devolving to these you know what seems solutions instead they should just be th there's a reason why these changes were put in you know there's a reason why flying was put in and yeah. there's a reason why the healing changes were put in mm. and so they need to realize that and take those changes but advance on them so yeah, try and work on them and, uh, yeah evolve them so keep 
keep the the layers of gameplay that they've added in for a reason. Re- remember why they put them in. Yeah. And then think, oh, but we could adjust it to be more like it used to be in this way, and then advance on it with with new ideas, what rather than just revert into old ideas. So for anyone who doesn't know, with the healing changes, they're removing say instant casts, so you can't heal on on the move. And there was I th- I really think there was a reason why those were put in, um, because. You know, I think reaction time is another element of healing that that should be kept alongside decision making. Yeah. You know, it adds adds another layer there. You definitely need both. Yeah, and with the flying, I you know, I th- I think they just, I really think they they've either they don't want to spend the resources on developing uh, a, a new feature. Uh, it's definitely cheaper to do it this way to just mm-hmm. remove flying, um, but like just some some things even you know i'm not a developer but i've come up with some genius ideas really yeah have you actually oh yeah right so a few years ago at blizzcon they announced aerial combat really yeah uh what was it for i think it was cataclysm and um and it just went away and i think it was you know restrictions on development time no way so yeah that was another. That's another area. Somehow, it, you know, it could have been wor- worked on. Um, so I think, with flying, you know, they could have done this sort of aerial idea. And I, I don't think aerial combat would work in every situation. But it's another layer of the game they they could have added with this. Yeah. Another one is, um, and they do this already. When you go into a certain zone, uh, you can't fly there. Yeah. And they've got they've got technology. So say there's a place in Storm Pink Peaks with like landmines. If you try and fly into it, it's actually just a segment of the zone. Something hits you and you fall off your mount. See that would be more dynamic. Yeah, exactly. So it's elements it'd be more of the world. Uh, it's it's involving you in the world and giving you logical reasons why you can't fly. Yeah. And um, I think so, so. Say if you have a zone. The area, you know, walking from the the danger area to your quest hub. Yeah. There's, there's, there isn't re- any real reason why you shouldn't be able to fly. Yeah. You know that that area. Yeah. Um, because that's just it's just wasted time. Yeah. Between those two places, um, and so also another idea would be forced landing zones. So when you go into an area, there's a specific spot. Where you need to go and land, yeah, and then you can only do that the rest of that area on foot. Yeah, maybe you is, could land at a garrison or something. Yeah, like, or, or you know, just the the enemy there. base. You know, it just yeah. gives you a spot. You have to land here if you if you want to go into it, because uh, once you're in, people are going to shoot you down if you don't, you know, go to that spot. Yeah. Um, another really good one would be actual flying mechanics. So at the moment, in order to fly, you press spacebar to go up and then you press forward to go forward. Yeah. Most, like, in other games, with uh, anything that flies, you've got sort of mechanics that keep you up in the air. You know, you, you press spacebar to flap your wings and you, there's some sort of gravity program in there as well. Yeah. Um, and with that, say if you went into a, a zone, you know, that, where they don't want flying the wind could like take you out or something yeah definitely you know so i just think because that would have that sense of danger or that sense of um i don't know just where you have to do a bit more yeah just uh, i just think to work for it they, they need to not they need to remember that features are added for a reason yeah and to just take them away isn't the solution players demanded it you know for 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 reasons and I just think there's so much more there's so much scope for what they could do with flying you know like uh, say you can have multi t- multi-leveled zones and stuff you know where you go fly up to another area of the zone and at the moment it's pretty scary as well that they're saying they don't know whether they're gonna have have flying which means that the content that they're designing at the moment doesn't have flying in mind yeah so they can't do anything that involves flying. And has this come out like after the pre-purchase? You know, the pre-ordering. Um, 
Yeah, it just came out this week. Because you don't really know what you're getting when you're pre-ordering it now, do you? Well, this, yeah, this was sort of another thing. I'm going to say, yeah, because they... Um, well, we'll talk about this in the release date, but should they really be asking for, for money off fans when they don't really know themselves what's, what's going to go in yet? Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, that's that's another topic. But anyway, um, so what, what I've said, like, I think this solution is not necessarily the best solution, but more the best compromise. And I think that when you're designing new content that people are going to buy, I think you should be adding content, you know, not yeah. not removing it and devolving the content. To be honest, Just, I wouldn't even call it a compromise. I mean, who's asked for it? There's, there's, everybody's just been happy with it. I think. Yeah. Um. So I think it's just working in Blizzard's yeah, favor. Yeah. Just, just advance on it. Um. I think it. Yeah. It does make designing the content cheaper. I think maybe. And I, I just hope that's not the real reason why they're doing it because they're trying to look for a, a cheaper way of doing it. Because I like to think that the d the game's moving forward. Yeah. But and not going old school. Yeah, well, you have to add features for more people to want to come in or for people to want to come back and not not remove them. Yeah. Um, but the thing I'd worry about is um, being a healer, um, you know, levelling by yourself or being at 100 and just wanting to know, you know, to walk around and explore and stuff. And, um, you know, what the hell are you going to do? You're getting hit by loads of different things. Mm. Um, they're removing or you know, you won't have as many instant casts. What the hell are you going to do? You're just going to be yeah. stood there trying to heal yourself and you're just going to get killed. Yeah, that's constantly. a good point. If you don't, if you don't have your DPS If you don't have any stuff. DPS gear and yeah. if you haven't got any instant casts. Yeah. I, I definitely think they just need to come up with more solutions and advancements to this system rather than devolving the system to, uh, you know, just to sort of work better for them with the constraints that they have yeah so feel very strongly about this blizzard so yeah it yeah you can just, tell this is I'm, we've gone on for this for quite a while <laughs> yeah but it's just it is it's it's worrying that their thought process on it i can see why they want to want to do that but I, at the same time if the, if there was a bit of money and time invested i think there could be such a better way and an actual feature added rather than you know, a feature modified. Removing, yeah. So yeah, that is flying. So let's move on to next topic. Uh, in that same interview, it was Alex Afriazabi, Afra, 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 Afra Siabi.